John Adams was the second president of the United States. He served one term from 1797 to 1801. He was born in Massachusetts on October 30th, 1735. Uh, he became a lawyer in Boston, and he married Abigail Smith in 1764. He was the... Uh, the lawyer for the British soldiers that were arrested after the Boston Massacre. And he was he was kind of a hard guy to work for and work with. He was just a difficult personality. Great politician, though. Um, he had the our nation's best interest in mind. He worked all uh, day and night doggedly to um, advance our country and advance law in North America, in, in, in the United States. His political career was illustrious, um, meaning that it was very, very important, very uh, proud. He served in the First Continental Congress. He served in the Second Continental Congress. He helped to write the Declaration of Independence that created our country. He was chosen as the first vice president under George Washington and he was elected as the second president of the United States, with Thomas Jefferson being his vice president. And he eventually died in 1826 on the 4th of July. During his presidency, there were different problems that he had to deal with at home. Um, political parties were growing rapidly, and they were fighting each other for political power. The two parties, again, were the Democratic Republicans and the Federalists. And Washington, or I mean Adams, he was a Federalist. And his vice president, Jefferson, was a Democratic Republican. So they were always at each other's throats. Um, in 1798, Congress passed a set of laws called the Alien and Sedition Acts. And two of these law, the, the two parts are the Alien Act, which increased the length of time uh, newcomers had to live in the United States in order to gain citizenship. It increased it from five years to 14 years. And then the Sedition Act outlawed sedition. Those two laws, what they did was they limited the power of individuals. Basically, it, uh, it made it so newcomers couldn't vote. And so um, the politicians could silence immigrants. And then the Sedition Act, which in sedition is saying anything false or critical about the government, outlawed sedition. Well, that meant, I mean, man, listen, just imagine that. It limited the voice of people. So Jefferson and others that were really interested in personal freedom, they got really nervous about this. Um, Jefferson and Madison, they wrote re resolutions challenging the federal government's power. They said, hey, we have the First Amendment that says no laws will limit speech, be it sedition or not. And uh, so the two resolutions that he and Madison wrote are known as the Kentucky and Virginia Resolutions. Um, and what they said was that these, these resolutions said that the states do not have to accept or follow unconstitutional laws passed by Congress. States could nullify or cancel such laws. Uh, so before the Supreme Court stepped in and said these laws, these, the Alien and Sedition Acts, are unconstitutional, well, Jefferson tried to give that power to the states so that the states could nullify laws. And... Um, if you think about it, there's this funny balance between the federal government policing its own poor laws with the Supreme Court, or do the states police bad laws written by the federal government? So you have a balance between federalism and federal power. Uh, Jefferson, because he stood up for these or against these laws, he gained a lot of popularity from the common people, the poor people, um, the people that normally were not listened to by Federalists or by the rich. These common people said, hey, Jefferson, you're going to fight for our rights. And um, so they followed him and supported him into the next, during the next election. 